Say hey, Paddy. Hey, Paddy. <laughs> right, so we're in the woods. Now, same woods I normally go to. I really shouldn't be having Paddy running around. Because everywhere. I'm guessing you know, all around the trees. I'll definitely be checking Paddy's paws in just a sec. All here. Oh, here. There's no respect. None whatsoever. And people bring their dogs down here to walk. And yet, there's shards of glass. Strongbow cans. Even your mum's dining room chairs. These are in the woods. Pop. Pop nose. Excuse my language. Paddy, get out of there, please. Come on. Come on. Paddy. Just get him out of this part of the woods. Check his paws. And I will check back with you guys in just a tick. Let's check his paws. He's okay. No glass stuck in them, luckily. I will be taking photos and I will be sending them to the relevant people. Because that's just disgusting. I'm sure the parents, or possibly the parents, you know, did it themselves with the people that done it. We'd love to pay for the vet bills. Of the, um, the glass in the dog's paws. Sorry, I had to clean up Paddy's mess. Hi, gorgeous bum. Chose a different route today. Still in the same woods, just a different path. Gives me a bit of variety. It's still sludgy and minging. Ugh. Hi. You okay? You come? Come. Hello. You okay? You can hear that, can't you? You go find it. Go and find it then. We had a wood pigeon. Or a pigeon of some kind. So now the idea is, is my, my loving partner has bought me a tent. Now, I'm really into watching uh, wild camping videos and van life videos and all that kind of thing on YouTube. So I think me and Paddy and my partner will probably come out with us sometimes. We're going to have a go at it. And we'll go at the old wild camping and stuff like that. Oh. Um. And maybe make some videos about it. It's uh, finding the right place, isn't it, Paddy? What's the matter? You're just waiting. Okay. I don't think these woods are really suitable. They're lovely woods, but... Too many people walking on them. Too many idiots, if you as you've seen, smashing glass everywhere. <whistles> yep. Good boy. I wanna Ooh. trip out. Hi. 
Come on in. I don't know why. The people here, they don't mind, you know, campers in the woods and things like that. They don't. But take your rubbish home. Take your glass home. There's no need to be going smashing it against trees and defacing the trees. It's not just for them to enjoy, it's for everyone to enjoy. There's no need to go around ruining it. That winds me up. So, I, when I'm walking back, and I've finished recording, I will be taking pictures. And sending them to, I guess, the National Trust or someone like that. Maybe the, the council, police, I, I don't know. But I'll send them to everybody, and I can't get it wrong, can I? Come on, you. Careful. Oh, lots of sludge. I might. Because these boots are really old, as you can tell. You know, they're falling apart. Yeah. I just, I don't really mind getting wet. Wet, muddy feet. As long as Paddy has fun. Paddy! Hey! Come on, this way. Here he comes. Ah, oh, all in the mud. Yucky yuck. Oh, don't get it on me. This way. There's me nearly falling in the mud. This way. I don't think he wants to come this way. Come on, that way. We're going to go this way. Oh, oh, I don't want to walk in that paddy, thank you. Oh, ow! Prickles, right in the head. Mm. This is very, very... sort of... It's not really even what you can call a path. To be honest, my paddy's having fun. I say these woods aren't suitable for camping. Um, I might be finding places I haven't actually found in these woods before that are really, really out of the way. So maybe it's a possibility. We'll see. Where's my dog? I can see him. Come! Here he comes. Hi! Look at your paws. They're all black. What have you been doing? They're all muddy and minging. A bath for you when you get home. Not the dreaded bath, Dad. Yeah, sorry, mate. You get muddy, that's where you're going. See, now, he's weird. Believe it or not. He will jump in the water, no problems. He'll go swimming. He loves it. Put him in a bath. <laughs> it's like he's taking his treat off him. He has a right sulk. But Daddy makes it all better. He gives him good good old cuddles whilst he's in the bath home. Only when he gets out, I hold him like a baby. It's because he is. He's my baby. Buddy! Oh, I couldn't see you then, buddy. Go on then. I'm not really finding a flat enough spot for my tent. Because I've got a few bits to get from my tent yet. That silicon spray just to make it that bit a bit more waterproof. Buddy! <whistles> yep. Hmm. Somebody is not returning to me. Buddy! I'll be back in a sec. As soon as I pause it, here he comes. Don't go running off like that, please. Um, Paddy, 
Thank you. Oh, I nearly tripped over again. It's gone again. Oh, lush. Here it is, I see him. He's running up and down the pathway just in front of me. Buddy, where you go? Come, come. Hi. Hello. Where are you going? This way. Well, I'm going to carry on walking. I'll check the back in with you guys. In, uh, in a few minutes, I'll walk a bit further and see if anything exciting happens during the walk. It doesn't normally, unless Paddy falls in the water, which... He does quite often. Except the last couple of times he hasn't. So we'll see. We'll see if he can stop quick enough before he gets to the water. But trust me, I can say it because he's my dog. It's hilarious. You okay? Come on, then. let's go. Well, it would appear I've reached the dead end. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have. No further. Just go straight up. Thank you. So, Paddy. Well, there's a tree down there I could go over. But I don't think I want to because I can't actually get to the branch or stump, so I say. It's a big old stump. And people have obviously been doing it. Um, oh, hello, buddy. Didn't know you were there. Come on, we'll go back. We'll go back. There's a path going that way, but I know where that goes. So, I think Paddy's decided that he wants to go this way. Or he wants to try and fall in the water again. Please fall in. <laughs> I know what I mean. Trust me. I make up for all the cuddles and fuss I gave, give him when I'm at home. I've just started letting him sleep outside of his crate at night time. He's only... And he's born in April, so you know, he's only 10 months old. Ten, no, yeah, just coming up to 10 months old. So I've only just started letting him sleep outside of his crate at night. And he sleeps right down my side of the bed, curled up in a lovely ball. Unless one of the cats wakes him up and winds him up. And then he's up and down the hallway chasing the cat. Oh, sorry, like cats. I was going to bring one of the cats out today, but I need to harness. I've got a collar for, for him. Um, but the missus did make a valid point, you know, he needs a proper harness before I can take him out. Yeah, he'll only sit on my shoulder, he won't go on the floor or anything like that. His, um, his dad. I was going to bring Sia out, so his dad, Graham, 
in the water. Come on, you. There's Dad Graham. Had a taste of the outdoors when he was little. They're both house cats. When he was little. Um, Graham, it's all right. He liked it, but if he was outside, like when he was inside, he liked the outside, but when he was outside, he wanted to be back inside. So, obviously, we have our windows open. We live on a first floor flat, and <laughs> Paddy stood way in front of me, just staring. And um, Graham decided once he wanted to go and explore the big, the big world outside. And he went from the first floor to the ground. Luckily, all he did was chip a tooth, and that was it. And he was so lucky, and when I ran out for him, he was literally sat on the neighbour's window ledge, crying. The only thing is, is we didn't actually see him do it, and we don't know how long he was out there for. He tripped over again. I just had this... Sat on the sofa, I just had this, this feeling in my in my tummy. Something wasn't right. I started calling Graham. Normally, when you called him, he'd he'd come to you, and he mm. wasn't. So, me and the partner. Oh, two seconds, Paddy's disappeared. Paddy, yep. Paddy. So, yeah, no, sorry. Me and the partner were looking all around the house for Graham. And uh, my partner went into the bedroom, opened the window, and she could hear a cat meowing and crying. Some really horrible, horrible noises. So I've gone outside, and there he is. And I picked him up, and he literally clutched onto me for dear life, as if to say, don't let me go, Dad. And I was like, well, a bit silly, really. But, no. Couldn't part with my animals. It's like they're a part of me. Love them dearly. Oh, back to the main path. Okay. I think it's the main path. No, it's not. Hello. How are you doing? You want to go in the water? Morning. Like I said, as soon as it comes to water and outside water, you just jump straight in. Put them in the bath. Honestly, he has a right meltdown. He hates it. Don't you? <laughs> Come on. Oh, should we go this way? Buddy, let's go this way. Hey. <laughs> hey, Paddy. Paddy. <laughs> no, I'm too busy running, Dad. Buddy! But no, don't let his uh, his good behaviour fool you when he's outside, you know. Come in when he's called. You know. Come here. Come here. Good boy. You know, he sits when he's told. Wait, uh, you weren't told to go anywhere. Good boy. Go on in. Yeah, like I said, don't let his good behaviour fool you. When he's at home, he is a right royal pain in the bum. But I love him still. Yeah, you want a stick? Oh, ready? Ready? There you go. Go get it. He's there. And there's his stick. He has no idea. Even when I threw it, he saw the splash. He's just there. You know, it's all the way over there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I do think that he is missing a, a brain cell or two for a collie. Aren't you? <laughs> hey? You find your stick? It's over there. Oh, I don't 
don't think he's going for a stick. Well, let's find a stick. Um. Threw a stick and it sank. Oh, this one. What about this one, Paddy? Ready? Oh, that was no good. <laughs> yeah? 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 You okay? <laughs> Can I throw it then? Let's turn that. Let's turn it like that. It's probably better. Even though it's just done <laughs> 20 minutes. Move it the other way. Right. Go on in. How can you not see it? It's right there. It's there. There. And he's there. He's all the way down there now. And he's here looking for it. Any ideas? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, mate. Let's go. favourite spot today. Well, as you know, something's going to have to walk all the way down and then cross over to that side. And there's nowhere in the water where it breaks where I can cross it. So I'd have to walk all the way back. So I did mention in the last video that I'd done that we hadn't seen Arlo for a while. You want to tell everybody who we bumped into the day that we finished the video? We bumped into Arlo, didn't we? Hmm? Come on then, you. Paddy was happy to see Arlo. So. We had a quick 10 second run around with him, but fortunately we couldn't stick around because we had to go home. We don't normally stick around anyway, he normally just runs around for 30 seconds, but it's only Arlo that he really does it with. Some dogs, he doesn't even acknowledge that they're there, he just carries on doing his thing. Stroke you. <laughs> so, Dad, I want to go and play. I want to go play, Dad. Go on then. <laughs> he makes me giggle. Mate, that's bigger than you. That's bigger than you. You... See the size of this thing? Look. It... Why can't you have the small one? Look. Oh, Jesus, buddy. Ugh. Why can't you have this one? Look, much bigger. M much bigger. Much better. Throw it, Dad. Throw it, Dad. Ready? Come on. Okay. Just run straight past it. Come on. Whoa. 
felt the stick touch my leg as he ran past me then. He is very, very, very quick. When he's got all four legs going flat out. Scorching mud. Yeah, he's just left his stick in it. Yeah, here he comes, stalking away. Love that collie stare. Yeah, they're watching their sheep. Why oh, have you broke it? Hey, eh? what did you break it for? Don't know, Dad. Come on. His favourite thing. I say his favourite thing. I, I follow. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's um, Casper the Border Collie on Instagram. Arizona does all the, the videos of him and his friends talking and getting up to mischief. And Paddy's sat and been rather intrigued watching. Watching that with me a couple of times. Other times he's not really interested. But I do like watching those videos. They do make me laugh. It just reminds me of Paddy so much when he's been a pain in the bum. Well, I'm nearly coming up to a half an hour video. This will be the longest one yet. Oh, oh. Nice. Hi, buddy. Which way do you want to go? Yeah, you got another branch. <laughs> oh. yeah, let's go. Oh. Rubbish. So frustrating. And the great thing is, is the people that drop the litter, and most of the time, the people that complain. Just, just take your litter home, it's easy. You okay? Do you want to go down the other side? I don't think I'm done walking yet, to be fair. It's going to be a long video. I didn't think I'd be thinking one this long. I can pause it, or, you know, I can do a part two like I did with the last video. Or videos, shouldn't I say. You yeah, know, I'll just walk down the other side of Paddy a bit and then see what mischief he gets up to down that side. But for this video, like, subscribe, comment, la di la di la. Paddy, come. You sit. Good boy. You say good boy. Good boy. <laughs> hey, cheers and gone.